Okay, so I want to talk a little bit more about the example that we briefly talked about in the lecture, and specifically about where we might have come in. Okay, so you're developing a student record system, and you go and talk to the customer, and they say, lecturers need to be able to register students for courses. And you investigate it with them a bit, and they say, well, there should be a student details page. See, you're storyboarding this. There should be a student details page. It gives the student's name and has an add courses. Add, let's do this in the figure. An add course button. When the lecturer presses the add course button, it should take them to a course list page. which is going to give them a list of all the applicable courses. The lecturer can select a course and press a register button. And then when the lecturer presses the, the register button, that will register this student for that course. OK, you say, we can do that. Would it with this simple in Euclid? And you represent this in summary form as a use case diagram. We're going to have just one actor, that's the lecturer. Not the student, because only the lecturer interacts with the system in this case. Now notice we have a capital L lecturer here, because in a use case diagram we're representing the entire collection of lecturers. And we have just one use case, register student for course. Okay. And these are associated. Lecturers can participate in scenarios that form part of that use case. Okay. And you go away and write some text for that use case describing how the actor and the system should interact to achieve that task of registering the student for the course. And you use the mock-up screens as a guide. And so far, so good. Now, at this stage, you're going to develop a first draft domain model. And you say, well, what domain concepts do we know about? Well, we know that there's going to be a course. And we know that there's going to be a course list. And you might wonder, do we actually need a separate class for course list, or can we just use a Java collection of courses? But you kind of think there's probably some functionality in here to do with which are the relevant courses for a student and so on. So we stick it in the domain model. And we say, well, actually, a course list does contain courses. So we'll have an aggregation there. And then, of course, there are students. And the student is, a, is linked to, by an association, a course by is registered on. Okay, and that's our initial domain model. Very, very simple in this very simple case.